So guys, it is time to take this thing finally apart. So uh, the goal for um, this video is gonna just to be to get the en engine and trans out. Yeah, it's mainly gonna be a time lapse, honestly. Uh, I, th I don't think I'm gonna talk about stuff that much, but uh, I did get a bunch of tools. I spent like $500 yesterday on, um, I don't know, a, a hoist, engine hoist, a jack, jack stands, a uh, little rolling toolbox thing that I could sit on where I put all my tools in, new wrenches, ratchets, Blah, blah, blah. I got a Craftsman uh, impact gun to uh, hurry things up. I got a torque wrench because I'll need it when I take apart the engine and to put on the clutch. I already got ahead of myself and removed that door, but uh, I'm basically going to take the hood off, the front bumper off, and the, that door off. Uh, I'm taking the door doors off just because I'm eventually going to have to go into the interior to remove the wiring harness. Pretty damn excited. Uh, I literally just recorded a build cost video right before this, so I'll probably be... Uh, editing that in the next coming upcoming days and posting that but this video is definitely going to come first but basically all i gotta really do is just jack up engine oil trans fluid coolant take out the radiator take off the headlights take off the whole front core support uh take off the drive shaft and uh, i'm going to be dropping this from the front subframe instead of taking the engine and trans out i'm just going to literally be dropping the whole front end down and rolling it out so I'll be, and then later once it's here, I'll take off the sub, the engine from the subframe and we can go trade my S54 for the engine that I'm going to be putting in this car, which will be in another video, but hopefully you guys are excited to make this thing fast.
Hey guys, the second day here. Uh, I'm, got, I'm getting kind of a late start today, but uh, good reasoning for that. Uh, I've just been, been applying for more uh, sponsorship proposals to different things, to wheel companies, to tire companies, suspension, blah, 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 uh, and whatnot for the race season for 2019. But uh, good, good news, uh, we did get our first uh, sponsor for the season, and that would be uh, Fortune Auto Suspension. Uh, I've actually had two of their coilovers before on my Subaru, so it's pretty nice. But they're going to be hooking us up with uh, Fortune Auto 510s, which are like, kind of like track-oriented coilovers. that are custom spec, custom spring rate. Uh, they'll make the car insanely low and make it good because I have really, really old KW suspension in here. And I'll be able to finally get rid of that and have some fresh suspension. Engine-wise, uh, I made a good amount of progress yesterday, but uh, ran out of light, but basically I took off a lot. I took off the core support, the radiator, uh, all the lines are disconnected, all the electrical is disconnected, uh, mainly the coil pack, spark plug harness, and the O2 sensor wires are the only thing you need to disconnect. But uh, other than that, I did get almost everything. Uh, you can see the individual throttle bodies in there. So the plan now is uh, I gotta go underneath the car, disconnect the drive shaft from the transmission, and then disconnect any other wires I can find under there, and then I can actually undo the transmission mount. And uh, the plan is I actually got this, uh, I think this is like a suspension, or not, I'm sorry, this is a furniture dolly. Rolls. Uh, I'm gonna put that underneath the uh, transmission, undo the transmission mount bolts, and then slowly put a jack underneath the subframe, undo the subframe bolts, and lower the whole thing with the engine and trans on it with the whole front end suspension and roll it out of the garage and kind of just put it here and then from it being here then I'll actually disconnect the engine and trans from the subframe. Uh, it should make it a lot easier to separate it and everything. So, yep.
Well guys, there you have it. The engine is out, finally. So annoying to do by myself, and I totally forgot to uh, get this thing that uh, levels the load. Uh, the chain kind of hooks up to this bar, so the one thing can grab in the front, and then on the end of the bar can grab the trans, and it levels it. But instead, I was basically lifting it up by the front, and having to like drag it around with the trans, and having to like jack up the trans periodically. But uh, yeah, please guys, be sure to like, share this video, seriously. Because now, uh, you know, the videos, the views really count a lot because I'm literally about to dump like six to ten thousand dollars in this thing. So I'm going to be doing an insane amount of stuff while this thing is apart in the sense of full suspension. I just ordered my Fortune Auto coilovers, which are being built custom spec, uh, which will take four to six weeks. And just a lot of money that's going to be thrown at this thing in the next, uh, the next, I don't know, month or two. But hopefully you guys are excited for the build series. Like I said, I'm going to be doing... Uh, multiple days into one video instead of just daily progress because sometimes I don't really make that much progress I think it's pointless for you guys to watch a video if it's, you know, I don't really do much so uh, So saying all that thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna go clean myself and next video is definitely gonna be the reveal of the engine um, Hopefully you guys are excited for it. It makes 500 ish BHP NA which is totally rad and it could make more actually if I do a different head and stuff so um, it, it's definitely not going to let the car down and it's lighter than the, the engine and trans combo on this new V8 is lighter than that S54 and trans together and it's going to sit lower in the car better center of gravity and everything so it'll definitely be a right move for this car to make it rip up the streets anyways thanks so much for watching I'll see you in the next video